Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I will be unboxing Itzy's most recent comeback, It's Me. They are back with another album and I'm super hyped. I was so hyped for this comeback and it's finally here. So yeah, I have all three versions here. I have the It's Me and then the Wannabe version. Yes, I actually like looked it up, like which version is which. So like I know what's up now. So yeah, before we get into the albums, of course, we will go through the pre-order benefits as usual. So let's go through those. Okay, so it comes with this photo book from their Paris trip. There's three of the same versions because there's only one version and I got three um, copies of the album. So there's that. Actually, I'll go through the photo book first, actually. So here it is. It's called Paris at Itzy. Yes. So let's go right to it. Now the one thing that sucks about these pre-order benefits is that he, JYP, who's the he, he only makes like um, one version of like these books like for example like um, or like not even just like photo books just like things in general like Stray Kids' Levanter album they only had one version of the calendar poster and like got sevens call my name pre-order benefits it was like this postcard set but it was only two versions <laughs> compared to like four albums so yeah it's kind of annoying to have like multiples of these but i mean i guess it's fine because i i do have a friend who's a huge itsy fan so i guess i can just like give her one of these books you know and it's just good to have an extra of the stuff you know just in case so yeah, but um, I really do like how he included, or like not even just him, like just the entertainment company in general, just adding stuff like this for free, you know, like a pre-order gift. Love that. But yeah, this is so cute. It's like a mini scrapbook. I know this is like when they like went to Paris, I think for fashion week. And also they like documented it for like an Mnet reality show. I didn't watch it because I'm like, okay, I'm like so bad at keeping up with like K-pop videos and stuff. Like there's so much, especially as a Maltese fan, like there's just so much content coming out. Like, you know, like BTS has their Pangtan bomb thing on their YouTube channel. Stray Kids has come out with like so many different things, like the one kid's room and stuff. And then so many reality shows, yada, yada. Oh my God, okay, ignore that if you guys didn't hear that. I have my freaking window open because it's so hot in my room. <laughs> oh my god, that helicopter is so loud. Okay, that was really annoying. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so I haven't watched this yet. I saw like some clips on Twitter because, you know, everything's on Twitter. But yeah, I haven't watched this yet. Maybe I will when I have like time, <laughs> which is like probably never over like summer break. But yeah, this is really cute though. Like I said, it's like a scrapbook. It's really cute. Yes. So yeah, there's freaking three of these. And then we will go through these. I'm assuming these are postcards like they did with their IC albums. So, ooh, is that everything? Oh yeah, I don't know what I was looking for. Okay, so these are like Polaroid style. Y'all know I'm a huge fan of like Polaroid style things. So that's really cute. It's like behind the scenes of their music video. Very nice. So that was the first version. Now it's the second version. Let's see. Oh, it's still Polaroids. Okay, that's nice. Ooh la la. They all look so gorgeous though, like... I think like Yuna's supposed to be like the designated visual, but like they're honestly all beautiful in their own ways. Like they're so pretty, so... Yeah, they're all visuals in my eyes. So... Gorgeous. And now we have the last version of the postcards. Okay, so these are like more from like their actual photo shoot. 
I wish these were like selfie ones. Like there's like one version where it was like selfies. But either way, not can't complain, you know. Wow, they are gorgeous though. So pretty, but yeah, so those were the pre-order benefits. So now we will go through the actual albums. So starting off, we have the It's version. There's the track list. Yeah, it's so weird because it's like vertical, but at the same time it's horizontal, so kind of weird. <laughs> okay, just, oh. Oh, is this random member? Oh, looks like it is. Okay, so for this like frame thing, I got Chaeryoung. Really nice photo. Oh, so I'm guessing this is like a frame. Like if you put the photo book back, like you could put this on the cover or you could put the group on the cover. It's pretty cool. Okay, let me go take out my photo cards. Okay, so now we will go through the photo book. All right, so regarding this comeback, um, I do have some opinions, of course, as I always do, even though you guys probably don't care, but I'm just gonna say them anyways. Um, I feel like Itzy's, like, with Itzy's title track, it's always the same thing for me. Like, it's always when I, like, first hear it, like, the first, first listen to it while watching the music video, I'm just, like, a little, like, iffy about the song, if you know what I mean? Like, it was the same for Dala Dala and uh, Icy, like, for Wannabe, it was, like, the first listen, I was, like, okay, like, pretty catchy, but I'm a little, it's, like, meh. That's what I, that's what it's always like for me in the beginning, like, I don't know, but, for, like, for Wannabe, though, the song grew on me a lot quicker than it did for the other two songs. Like, Icy took me a while to, like, get used to, because, I don't know, like, the chorus for Icy for me in the beginning, it was, like, so, I don't know, random and messy, but over time, I grew to really like it. It's literally, like, for, like, my Spotify all-time, like, most listened to songs it's like number four so yeah that's how many times i listen to icy because i love that song now it's a bop and oh my god that's like this is also another thing like um itzy always does like these crowns at the end so i guess like a, they're that's like their thing now like the crown so who knows maybe that's like their new thing so their light stick will be a crown <laughs> But anyways, um, yeah, regarding the song, I do really like it now. I do listen to it, but I don't think it's my favorite title track out of the three. I feel like Tala Tala is just unbeatable for me right now. Like, oh my god, I don't know. Dala Dala just hits differently, you know? So yeah, for now, Dala Dala is still like on top for me. But I'm still like in a debate whether or not I like Icy or Wannabe more. I'm not really sure. Maybe I just need to like watch like music shows performance and stuff but yeah it's still a bop it's really good and yeah but um it does give me like a dala dala 2.0 vibe it, especially the chorus the chorus kind of gives me like dala dala vibes a little bit it kind of sounds similar but yeah overall it is a bop and probably if i like listen to it even more i mean it literally came out like two days ago so <laughs> i can't really say anything and like my final impressions and stuff but for now i really do like it and the music video was so cool too like um the visuals and the dance was pretty intense too that dance break though but yeah i'll like get more into it in like the other photo books but those are just like my impressions of the title track for now but who knows over time it'll probably change like it always does uh, oh my god, you can see me. There's a CD. Alright, let's go through the photo cards. So first photo card, first of all, this backing is really cool. Love that. They like put so many like hateful words like troll. Wait, does that say, did they spell troll wrong? Um, okay. <laughs> oh, this is a unicard. Okay, so I got Yujin and Chaeryoung. Wow. Oh yeah, it's using uh, like Unicards now, like uh, Stray Kids did, and GOT7 for their previous albums, so 
That's cool. And then we have, I'm just thinking this is a selfie photo card. Ooh, and I got Leah. Oh, she looks so pretty. I love the outfits too. Like, it's like, it kind of like matches the whole, I don't know. You know how like this has like a lot of words and stuff. So I guess that like kind of matches the concept. So it's really cool. But yeah, that was the It's version. Okay, next up we have the uh, Me version. So... It's a really bright orange. <laughs> okay, let me just slide this out. We'll see who the random like frame postcard thing is. Ooh, and I got Leah again. So let me take this out. Stunna, so I'll put this back. Okay, let me take out my photo cards. Okay, so let's go through this version. Sorry if I'm like a little like I don't know, unenthusiastic or like not as energized as I kind of usually am. It's literally like midnight right now on a school night and I I just got these albums today but um, I really wanted to unbox them. It's really hard for me to not open albums, you know, right when I get them because like I obviously I want to film an unboxing video and I want it to be like a like a first look through while I'm filming so yeah, obviously, like, this is the first time I, like, see the album while I'm filming my unboxing. But it's really hard for me to resist, you know, because it's, like, right there. And I would just want to, like, open it and see my photo cards and stuff. So that's why I'm filming the, the unboxing now. I actually was about to unbox this tomorrow, but I'm very impatient. <laughs> so, yeah, here we are. Also, like, obviously, my whole fan bam's, like, sleeping and stuff. It's getting, going to bed, so... Yeah, that's why I'm like kind of quiet, but at the same time, not really that quiet. But yeah, okay, so Itzy is like one of these, Itzy's like one of those, oh, there's the lyrics. <laughs> Itzy's like one of those groups, like there's like, I feel like there's different categories of groups for me, like groups where I like the title track, but not really the B-sides of their album. Groups that I like the B-sides more than the title track, and then there's some groups that it's just like all the songs. And some groups where I like the title track and like one song from their album. <laughs> but it sees that group where I like the title track, but I don't really like the B-sides. I don't know. Like, I feel like a lot of It Sees B-sides on the albums really sound kind of similar. They're like all EDM. And I don't know, they kind of have like the same sound and stuff. And they kind of, kind of have the same like message, like the whole... I want to be me, I want to be myself, forget the haters and stuff. I mean, not all the songs, but I don't know. Definitely their title tracks. So that's like their entire concept. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm not really a huge fan of their B-sides. I guess for this album, I do kind of like Ting Ting Ting. That's like really like, you know, Liddy and stuff. But besides that, I'm not really a huge fan of their B-sides. Same with their previous album um, and the digital single album their debut <laughs> but yeah I don't know it just doesn't it's not really my style of music I can definitely see like how why people would like it but I don't know I'm just more of like a itsy title track sort of person so yeah I mean nothing against them though and their music hopefully you know like obviously they're like pretty young right now so I guess that's like their whole concept the like the sort of EDM sound but um, you know, kind of similar to Twice, like, you know, Twice wasn't really involved in their music in the beginning, and their concept was, like, the same thing, but, like, as they, like, grew as artists, you know, they're, like, more involved in their music now, and their concept's, like, more mature and stuff, so that'll probably be the same for ITZY. But, yeah, no hate to ITZY, though, obviously, their title tracks are still the bops, so, yeah. Now we have the CD, it's, like, the same thing, but in orange. Now we'll go through the photo cards. So we have the unit photo card. Ooh, I got Ryujin and Leah again. I got both of these members already, so that's cool. I like, I really love the backs of these photo cards, and like the border, like the whole like collage thingy, that vibe. And then 
let's see Ooh, and I got Yuna so it's like the same like orange border bottom thing but I got Yuna so I pulled all members except for Yeji so let's see if we get Yeji in my next album okay last version we have the wannabe version I like how you know <laughs> JYP's again doing three versions like he always puts so many versions for his artists first it was like no album for itsy and then it was two versions and now it's three so this will probably be the thing now just three versions because he's like that Ooh, and i got yuna so no duplicates for these thank god because i do not like duplicates so yay okay let's take out my photo cards let's go through the final version Okay, another thing I wanted to talk about was the choreo for this, uh, for Wannabe. Um, right as of now, I just watched their, um, dance practice video because it literally came out today. Um, I don't know, in the music video, the dance seems, like, really intense and, like, really cool. But I guess, I mean, it's not my favorite choreo from them. I feel like, again, Dala Dala, like, remains, like, the best uh, like, my, my favorite, not the best necessarily, but my favorites out of all three title tracks. Like, choreo and, like, the song and yada yada, but I don't know. I feel like Itzy's really known for their dance moves. Like, they're really good dancers, and they really know how to perform and stuff. But this comeback, the dance was a little underwhelming, I guess. I don't want to say that because, obviously, the choreo is so, like, intense, and they're still really good dancers, and I can never be them you know, be as good as them. So I shouldn't be like so quick to judge, but I don't know. I feel like compared to their other title tracks, I wasn't really as impressed with the dance. It is a lot more simple. So I guess that's kind of good because, you know, it's easier to like cover and more people can like follow the dance. But um, yeah, like the dance break too, like it's not as intense as their previous dance breaks, even though Dala Dala didn't really have a dance break. <laughs> like. I don't know but in the music video it looked really cool though so yeah i mean i do like that one part in the dance break where they're like shaking their hips intensely they're just like hey you know and then they're like on the ground they're like freaking like moving around and stuff and then the freaking like the hair whip that the three members do in the front like Phew. so yeah freaking yeji's iconic single ponytail <laughs> She always has that hairdo, and it's and it looks so good on her, though, honestly. That's, like, kind of her signature thing, I guess. Kind of like Ariana Grande vibes. But, yeah. I mean, again, and also with these photos, I mean... I, I feel like people would expect, like, you know, because this one has, like, these photos, so people would expect all of these... Or, like, the, all the photos in this book would all have these photos, but... I mean, they do have, like, a little bit of each version, so I guess I do like that since, you know, if you buy only one version, you can get, like, all three photos. And at least the pictures are different, too. Like, you know, at least not the photos aren't exactly the same. That'd be kind of annoying. But, yeah. So it's like, if you buy one version, you get you basically get all three versions, which is really nice. So, yeah. But I think these pages are the same, like, the lyrics... Yeah, these are all the same so just gonna quickly look through these but yes that was the last version and now we have cd which is like pretty much the same thing and now for the photo cards so we have the unit version Ooh, oh i got yeji okay so now i officially got all members Heck yeah. And then Leah again. These unit cards are so cute though. And then last the photo card. This is a different backing, so thank god it's a different photo card, not a duplicate. Ooh, and I got Ryujin. Oh, wait, is that her signature? <laughs> Why is it just like squiggles? <laughs> wait, what? Okay, anyways, I got Ryujin. Oh my god, this card is so cute. And I really like cards with, like, their signatures on it. I'm assuming that's their signature, even though it looks like a scribble. <laughs> but, yeah. That was everything. 
So that was my unboxing for It Sees It's Me albums. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.